Hey, what's up, gamers? It's Wishman Ma from 24 7 Sim Gaming, and today I want to show you how to fix every single Rage plugin hook error that happens to your GTA 5 and your LSPDFR. So, if you've been having issues trying to get into your game, this one's going to fix it for you. And if you like this video, make sure to please like, subscribe, leave a comment, click that notification bell as it helps my channel tremendously. And as always, let's start the sim. Stop shop for updates, reviews, benchmarks, gameplay. This is 24-7 Sim Gaming. Okay, so some of the most common issues and errors that post people get with their uh rage plugin hook involves the insufficient or the error FFF, I believe. So Let's quickly start with that. First thing you want to do here is always go to your Steam. And let's open up Steam quickly. So we connect here. So you always want to open up your Steam and you want to have a look at the Steam settings. And inside these settings, you want to go to in game. And the very first option there is enable the Steam overlay while in game make sure to turn that off also always make sure anytime that you're opening your game that you are using the launch inside of steam where you click play click, click play gta 5 as this will also fix the error where the rage plugin hook does not load up properly in your f4 console does not uh, pop up when you press f4 so anyway Let's go ahead and close that down. And a very simple and typical fix is to go over here to your cogwheel under settings, press that windows key, hit settings. You want to go to update and security. Always check for updates, driver updates as I have updates here. And these are usually your C++ dot network framework, dot uh, net framework, um, updates and you always want to make sure to fix those also if you're getting the insufficient hook make sure you have your antivirus turned off and it's very simple depending on what you have I have Norton so I have to go ahead and open the app and close it off but if you navigate through here you will see how to turn it off even if it's from Windows Defender you can click open Windows security and you'll get the same things Make sure to turn these off. And let's go back here and back in our settings page, let's go to the gaming tab and we want to go down to game mode and we simply want to make sure that game mode is turned off. And here are a few fixes for if there's been recently an update to your Rage plugin hook. Let's say there's just been an update to GTA 5 and none of your plugins are working make sure you get the newest update of rage and we're going to go ahead and do that here by quickly going to lcpdfr.com and this is where you download your lspdfr if you are someone who plays a police mod but even if you don't you need to get familiar with this site come in here and you want to click get LSPDFR for GTA 5 once you've done that and it opens download the newest version which will be whatever pops up here and I'll let you know the version there and you want to scroll down a bit and click download this file and make sure after you click agree and download that you download the manual install version and this also works if you're just updating your lspdfr you can download this manual version as well so we'll give that just a second to open up here and we'll have a look at it and now that that's finished downloading let's go ahead and open that file up and inside this file you're going to see the rage plugin hook.exe 
make sure you click that let's go ahead and locate our main game directory and it's different for everyone but the easiest way to find it for most people it's on their C drive but it's always wherever you download your games whether you have Epic or Steam so let's go ahead and get that open and it's always easiest to uh, pin this to your quick access folders over here as you see I have GTA Grand Theft Auto 5 right there so let's go ahead and locate the drive for me it's on my D drive I'm gonna go to Steam library Steam apps common and Grand Theft Auto 5 didn't mean to do that and we're gonna just simply pull it over a bit and you just want to grab and drag and drop your Rage plugin hook. I already have it there, so I'm going to skip this file. This will give you the newest version of the Rage plugin hook. And there's one more thing that we need to download. And that is the newest version of the Rage native UI. And I'll leave the link down below for the newest one. But if you're trying to find it, no matter when it's been, you can still use this site. It'll always be the top one. So I'm going to go ahead to Google and I'm just going to type in rage native dot UI. And it's going to take you to github.com and that's where you want to go. And right now it's 1.9 is the latest. So we'll just go here. You see the rage native dot zip right under it, under the assets. It's by PNW Parks Fan. And these are completely safe. They make great mods for the community. And you just simply want to click that. Once it's open, we'll go back to our main game directory. It should still be open. Simply grab these two at the bottom, the DLL and the XML, drag and drop them. And you're going to click replace. I already have them. And that's it for those. Now, if you've done all these after an update, there may be one other thing that may fix your game here. Actually, we have a couple more fixes. So let's go ahead and start with, let's open rage plugin hook.exe. Go ahead and double click that, hold shift. Once you've clicked it, and it'll pop up like so, here we are. Make sure your plugin timeout threshold is set to 60,000. Go over to the plugins tab, click don't load any plugins on startup. And in the advanced, you can disable the custom loading screen. And you want to go to the game settings tab and we're going to click command line switches. Go ahead and click that direct X 11. Also, you want to click force windowed mode. And if you're always in here, make sure you always have a reverted game version. And if you don't know how to do that, just simply go to the backups tab, click up backup current version. I'm already backed up. Nothing's going to happen here. But always make sure you do that just in case a new update does come out very quickly. And that takes care of our settings for Rage plugin hook. And once again, if you are trying to load into LSPDFR and you are getting the infinite loading circle and you've already done the change, the steam app overlay, you've taken that off already and you've done forced window game mode for the rage plugin hook. We want to go into our open IV and I know you'll have that. Go ahead and click Grand Theft Auto 5. And what most of you should see when you open this up and it's been an update is a green bar at the top that says to there's been an update to the mods folder or something like that. And just go ahead and click OK on that. And this will remove your mod. So if you want to back up the folder, go ahead and do that as well. And what we're going to do is in order to manually update our games mods let's go ahead and click the main game directory again and inside of there you should have a mods folder and if you look 
update update 64 same thing you do when you create the mods folder well first let's go ahead and locate our x64 folder and our update folder and we're going to drag and drop that into our mods folder like so and i've already done this so i'm not going to replace i'm going to skip all this so nothing's going to happen here for me and if you scroll on down under your update x64 on the left side in your gta you will see the common rpf all the way down s6 x64 xw those are the newest and these are your rage package files that's common dot rpf and then we need all of these at the bottom not including the x input don't need that whirlpool asi it's completely unrelated and once you have all of those highlighted it's a little bit hard to do because of my layout here but once you have all of them highlighted and the common rpf simply drag and drop all those into your mods folder once again common rpf all the way down to the last x64 so common rpf all these x64 files and then drag and drop those into your mods folder as well and when you get in here it will look something like this you'll have all these new ones added which won't be there before from before and this will also update your game manually and remove all your mods but once you do this it will have your lspdfr working properly again you'll be able to load in and last but not least we're going to make sure we always have the newest version of script hook i'll leave a link below simply type in script hook 5 or script hook v it's going to take you to the very first site dev.c.com and as you see there's a version 2699 which is current july 27 click download it'll take us to this page not sure why it does that but click gta 5 script hook 5 again and then it takes you to this page and this is what i'll have located down below in the comments excuse me in the description so you can easily get this go ahead and click download she downloaded that we'll click that bin folder and it's going to give you script hook v and d input 8.dll let's locate that main game directory again i'm gonna go ahead and use my shortcut there and you're just simply just going to drag and drop this to the open area and you're going to replace it and that is it so if you follow all of these steps i guarantee you your game will open it will be open one of these issues individually could help you fix the problem but all of them in combination will definitely help you fix whatever issues you're having so that's it for this one if you like this video please make sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell as i love bringing you tutorials and fixes for all of your problems red dead gta 5 any game it pretty much just doesn't matter love to do this and that's it for this one. So as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.